What's going on everyone and welcome back to our Ripples 0.7 Blind Let's Play. Let's continue. If you haven't already, there's a link in the description below to my Patreon. Unrated content exclusive to Patreon. Only $5 US a month, three videos a week, plus access to the backlog of 200 videos. Uh, you got the Eternum All Woman run. You got a Being a Dick run in there. It's like 80 something videos. Currently playing through Become a Rockstar. If you're interested, just check it out. You and Darcy leave the power plant through the underground passage to strategize a new plan. You could jump a couple of workers and take their uniforms, but it's not as straightforward as you'd think. I was like the same thing, but the more I thought about it, the more I didn't like the idea. I agree. For one, we need to find two people together, one tall and one short, or the uniforms won't fit. That's not going to be easy. I could wear one that's a little big on me, but wearing one that's super baggy is going to draw attention. I would most likely look like a kid wearing the parents' work clothes. Now, there might be a changing room with extra uniforms, but we don't know where that is. And even if we did find clothes that were my size, I'm still short and look young for my age. People will remember someone like me working here. Unless we were wearing a mask. I don't know. I still think I would look like a kid wearing a mask. I hate being short sometimes. I already get enough shit from bitches like Shelby calling me little girl, among other names. Compliment or don't? Uh, sure. You're really not that short. But that cute baby face doesn't help much. <laughs> That's a luck. Oh, oh, blushing. You think I'm cute? Yeah, that's what I just said. You got a cute face. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> but enough about that. No time for sulking. I have a couple ideas. Maybe you could stay out here and I can go in and search those areas. And if I need assistance, I can call you. Can I even call you on this phone? Um, that's a good question. Give it a shot. I also have this phone I bought here. This old Mokia phone. <laughs> Mokia. I want one of those too. You can get one in the store. Oh, it's such a throwback. You turn the old Mokia phone on and immediately are bombarded by a wave of missed calls, texts, and voicemails. Wow. What's all that? <laughs> I met a few people last time I was here and gave them this number. Looks like they've been trying to get a hold of me. Oh, watch out now. Mr. Popular coming through. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. For real though, I was trying to blend in and not raise suspicion, so I met a few people. Not to mention, the first time I came here, I didn't know if I was ever going back. I needed help from people. Like I told you, I befriended Jenny and slept in my, or her garage. I didn't have anywhere else to go. Yeah, yeah, you told me. Maybe you can ask them if they heard anything about the missing girl. Did you call my phone yet? Mm. Call now. Mm. Mm. So it does work. Mm. Special phones, I guess. Neato. Give me the number to that old Mokia phone too. I'll go buy one myself. Maybe we can use those to call each other. Yeah, we need to blend in. So we should only use the new phones as a last resort. Here's my Mokia number. I texted it to you. Got it. Can I get another look at that picture of your mom? When they sent you? Maybe there's a clue in it. I didn't see anything, but here. Darcy opens the picture on her phone and you study it closely. You can see she's seated in a peculiar mechanized chair with restraints around her neck and wrists. She appears to be wearing a one-piece suit that almost looks futuristic in design. After about 10 seconds, you notice something. The necklace. I think that's the same kind of necklace that was buried in the safe. Really? It's exactly like it, but it's glowing. The necklace that Scarlet dropped. And then Chloe had it. And somehow, I ended up with it. You brought it with you? Yeah. There's a reason it was in the safe, right? I need to talk to them and see what they can tell us about the necklace. Or talk to anyone knowledgeable about jewelry and crystals. Good idea. I can call or go find them. 
I have a plan for how we can get into some of those private areas in the power plant too. I need to go into town and prepare. I think we need to split up. You go talk to those girls and do anything you can to find information. And I'm going to prepare us for the next mission. I think we should stick together. We're stronger as a team. Time is of the essence. We are wasting too much of it. I'll call you once I'm ready to meet back up. I don't know. I just... I didn't worry about her. Not only that she might get hurt, but that she might do something impulsive. But she's the strongest person I know. Maybe I'm more worried about myself and want her want to be by her side. Jack, I'll be fine. We'll meet up soon. Find out what you can, okay? Alright, fine. What's this mission you're cooking up? You'll see. But first, I need to change into something more casual. Darcy starts to dig into her backpack and then begins to undress. Um, you're just gonna change right here? Or else I'm gonna change, idiot. Stop calling me an idiot, idiot. I know you are, but what am I? There isn't anyone out here, but if you're so worried, keep a lookout. Let me know if you see anyone. It'll only take a second. Besides, we've both done far worse in these woods. <laughs> That's true. Good point. <laughs> Interesting there's no nudity there, though. They're seeing a press? Wow, that's random. How do I look? Do you think I'll blend in? A cute little 90s girl. Cute. Cute. That'll work just fine. It has a 90s vibe to it. I forgot about bringing other shoes. Some stuck with the boots, but whatever. I think the boots fit the look. It has that grunge type look now. You think? Yeah, I like the look. Also, it reminds me of Aerith. She wore boots with the dress too. Yeah, she did. I'm kind of digging the look now. I bet you never thought you'd see me in a dress. No one's going to suspect a cute girl in a dress getting into, into any trouble. See? Her height and your cute little baby face are working to your advantage now. Just like you wanted. Finally. As long as you control that mouth of yours. Hey, I can be ladylike if I want to. Leave that when I see it. But it would be best if you could try. You'll see. I could be as cute and girly as anyone else. <laughs> That'd be a first. I'm going to leave you here at the college. And I'm going to head into town. You can ask around about my mom and show people the flyer. I'll also ask around where I'm going. Are you sure we should split up? Yes, I'm positive. Alright, let's check in. You're a little unnerved in a power plant. I'm good now. I'll give you a call when I'm done. See you soon. Peace. Uh, I hope she stays out of trouble. Before I ask around, I'll listen to my voicemail and call a couple people. You pull out your old Mokia phone and dial the voicemail. Hey Donnie. My call goes straight to voicemail every time to reach you. Anywho, I just wanted to talk to you right now. I am feeling a little lonely and down at the moment. It would be nice to hear your voice. You should set your voicemail message up. Say something like... Scarlet clears her throat and drops her voice down low. Hey, you have reached Donnie Selly. I can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message after the beep. Peace out. Well, when you hear this, I would love it if you would give me a call back. If you want. Bye bye. Huh, <laughs> I missed her call. I love her spunkiness. Next message. Hello, it's Jenny. I just wanted to call and check up on you. I know you said you'll talk to me if you can. It looks like you can't. And I understand. I I don't understand everything, but I hope you accomplished everything you were supposed to do while you're in Riverside. If you get a chance, I'd love to hear from you. Bye, Jack. Oh, Jenny. I hope she's doing well. If possible, I'll have to speak to her again about working at the power plant. I may have to do something drastic this time. Next message. Hey, what are you doing? Turn on your phone. It goes to straight it goes straight to voicemail every time. I know you said you were having phone problems, but damn son! I'm joking, of course. But I hope you get a new phone soon so you can call me back. And hopefully you'll come back to Riverside soon. Give me a call back when you hear this. Bye, Donnie. I feel terrible that these girls call me and expect my friendship, and I ghost them. April was right. It's easier if I stay away from them. But I need to talk to them. 
They might have information about Darcy's mom, or maybe they could tell me something about that necklace. There's something I'm missing here. Speaking of April, I need to talk to her too. Maybe she knows something. I'm sure she would come find me if she did, like last time. But if it wouldn't hurt to ask her a few questions. Next message. Hey, it's Jenny again. I'm not trying to be a bother or anything, but your phone goes straight to voicemail. So I don't know when you'll hear this, but I wanted to let you know that I am here for you. And I am willing to offer my assistance with whatever it is you're working on in Riverside. You can confide in me and trust me completely. Though I may seem small and timid, you'd be surprised what I can do when I set my mind to something. I know you said you won't always be around, but we may not meet again. But I have high hopes we will. I wish the best of luck to you and a bright future. Um, sorry for the long weird message. Bye. Ah, oh, god damn it. These messages are killing me. I'll give her a call back. Oh, right now. <laughs> Hi, can't come to the phone right now. Leave a message. Beep. Hey, Jenny. It's Jack. Oof, said the wrong name. Oh, I'm in Riverside, helping out a friend. I was wondering if we could meet up. I have some questions for you and Chloe. Give me a call back when you get this. Thanks. Um. Hey, asshole! Move out of the way! Car comes from behind you and honks its horn for you to move. Hey, okay, chill. Move out of the way and step between a couple of cars. Let's try Scarlet. Take your phone out and call Scarlet back. What is that? A song begins to play briefly before you hear Scarlet's voicemail message. Hi, reach Scarlet. I'm too busy being totally awesome to hear the phone. Leave a message. Hey Scarlet, it's Donnie. I'm currently in Riverside and I wanted to talk to you. I have a couple of questions to ask you. Give me a call back when you get the chance. Hey Donnie! Huh? Why don't you go talk somewhere else? I don't like you standing next to my truck. Why is everyone here so hostile? I'm not hostile, I just... Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Um... Takes you a second, but you remember. She was the girl with Eric the when that fight broke out. Last thing I need is more problems with her or Eric. It's probably best if I play dumb. No, I don't think so. I'm from Winden. I've never met you. Are you sure? Have you ever partied here? Maybe that's where we met. Is he that guy that drank the goldfish and puked it back up ten minutes later? And it was still alive? Ew. <laughs> no, that wasn't him. That guy was short. Did you know Johnson took that fish home and still has him? He named him The Dude. That's crazy. But no, that wasn't him. They do look sort of alike though. Where static noise emanates from the girl's vehicle. What the fuck? What's that? Someone's about to get the call. Duh. Oh, <laughs> that's weird. Oh, how'd you know that? You got a cell phone. You've never heard that before? You're fucking weird, dude. Hello? Hey, you answered. Wait, I know you. You're the one that fought Eric in the hallway. You dirty fighting piece of shit. I should call him and tell him you're here. He's been looking for you. Donnie, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hold on one second, Scarlet. We don't need to call him, do we? Call it, uh... First one. I don't want her to call Eric. I already have enough on my plate right now. I don't need that jerk off causing more problems. We don't need to call him, do we? They got into a fair fight and he lost. Do you really want him to suffer the humiliation of losing again? What makes you think he's going to lose again? Come on. You and I both know he doesn't stand a chance against me. You saw the fight. Yeah, he beat the shit out of Eric. No one has done that to him. It's kind of hot if you ask me. <laughs> Yeah, we'd be fucked if brings his boys with them. I have to stay confident and hope they can keep her from calling him. And if he does that, I'll beat their asses too. Then it'll be even more humiliating for him. You sure think you're hot shit, huh? Call me buff then. 
If you think there's a chance I won't do the same thing again, give him a call. I'm not scared of the woman beater. Are you one of those cage fighters? WWF or something or whatever? WWF? <laughs> you never heard of WWF? No, <laughs> Friday 2019. <laughs> She's too young for the name change. No, I heard of WWE. You mean WCW? No, I mean WWE. You girls watch wrestling? Well, sometimes when her brother does, he's obsessed with it. I don't care about wrestling. Stop changing the subject. Meh, we don't need to call Eric and cause a big scene, do we? It's gonna ruin my high. That motherfucker yells too much. Fine, get away from my truck and let us smoke in peace. Shoo, shoo. That's that shit, bitch. Damn. Later, girls. Hello. Are you there, Donnie? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry about that. Someone was talking to me. So what's up? You're in Riverside? Yeah, I'm in Riverside right now. Ooh, did you come to hang out with me? Hehe. <laughs> I would love to, but I'm in town to help a friend. All right, you said you had a couple of questions? Yeah, I was wondering if... Where are you at right now? I'm at the college. Oh my, where at? In the parking lot. Why don't you come inside and see me? And I'll answer your questions. Yeah, I can do that. I'm in the second floor hallway. I'll be there in 10 or 15 minutes. I'll be there shortly. Yay! See you soon. You head into the building and decide to ask around while you wait for Scarlet to arrive. I know April told me to stay away from Scarlet, and yeah, that's probably the best thing to do, considering what happened yesterday. But saving Thirsty's mom is top priority. I need any help I can get. I could say the same thing about Jenny. She seemed to really take a like to me while I was here. As did I. She's a sweet girl. But they might know something about Gabby or that necklace. I wonder if the necklace I have is the same necklace that Chloe found. The necklace that belongs to Scarlet. I wonder about the necklace that Gabby was wearing. Is there more than one necklace? So many questions. You start asking around to see if anyone has any knowledge about Gabby. Excuse me, do you know this girl? Is there anyone or anything you could tell me about her? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know her. No problem, thank you for your time. Excuse me, do you know this girl? No, I don't. I saw the missing posters, but I don't know who that is. Okay, thanks for your time. Excuse me, do you know this girl? I do, she's in one of my classes. Did you ever talk to her? Is there anything you could tell me about her? I've talked to her here and there. She's a nice girl. A little quiet until you get to know her, and then she chats your ear off. When was the last time you saw her? I haven't seen her since the day she went missing. Did she ever wear a necklace? Like, one with a purple jewel or stone on it? Um, I don't think so. Did she talk to her on the day she went missing? Yeah, we talked about her schoolwork. We also talked about the latest episode of ER. <laughs> ER. Is there anything else you can think of that might help? I'm sorry. I wish there was something else. I hope she's found. Are you the new detective or something? You look rather young to be a detective. She's a family friend of mine. I really hope you find her. Good luck. Thanks for your time. I'll leave you alone now. Uh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Excuse me. Have you seen this girl? Do you know anything about her? No, I haven't. Sorry. No problem. Thank you for your time. Bunny! There's Scarlet. Oh my god, what is she wearing right now? <laughs> Holy crap, that's bright. And that is a great place to leave it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Get you all in the next one.